Hello everybody, this is Michael McGilley. Welcome to Cat Ed. Today we are talking about biplane coronary angiography. How do we use it and when to use it? Biplane coronary angiography depends on using two radiation sources and two IIs so we can save contrast and radiation. So how do we do it? Step one is to activate the biplane mode in the console and then bringing the radiation sources and IIs close to the patient. And as you see here, there are two handles. Each of them controls one of the image intensifiers. Step number two is the most important step, which is adjusting the isocenter. What this means is that we want to place the heart in the intersection of the two radiation beams. The way we do it is we start in the REO position. We move this II until we get the heart centralized in the REO position. We then want to centralize the heart in the LAO position. And the way we do it is by moving the table up and down, not by moving this II at all. This is followed by returning to the REO position to recentralize the heart again. And again, we do that by, use, by moving this II. Finally, we return to the LAO position to decentralize the heart in the LEO position by moving the table up and down. And after these four steps, we are now sure that the heart is in the isocenter of the two radiation beams. Then we move to step three, which is basically adjusting our views and doing the coronary angiography. We do that by only moving the IIs and we have to make sure that the table height remains constant. The views are usually orthogonal to each other. So if we are doing um, RAO caudal, for example, we have to do an LAO cranial uh, on the other view. Then step four is just our regular injection and in run, and the machine will capture images from both IIs as we see here. Moving on to some examples, we will start with a case of diagnostic coronary angiography. So after adjusting the isocenter, we took our images and these are our initial images, simultaneous RAO caudal and LAO cranial views. We adjust the IIs and uh, take the other two orthogonal shots, RAO cranial and LAO caudal views. We engage the right coronary artery and take two orthogonal views, straight RAO and LAO. Fluoroscopy time in this case was only 1.9 minutes and we only used nine cc's of contrast for the whole case. Case number two is a case of percutaneous coronary intervention. Again, our initial simultaneous views on our RAO column, LAO cranial views, and we can see a circumflex lesion proximal to a prior stent. This lesion is also seen here in the LAO call view. So we decide from direct stenting. We deploy the stent. And we had good final angiographic results. Scopy time in this case was only 5.7 minutes. And we used 18 cc's of contrast for the whole case. Finally, some take home points. Biplane angiography is a really important tool. It can reduce contrast and radiation, and it should be highly considered in patients with renal dysfunction. As for the technique, 
the most important step is adjusting the isocenter and putting the heart in the isocenter of the two radiation beams. We do that by moving the IIs for the RAO views and moving the table up and down for the LAO views. And during our coronary angiography, we have to keep the table height fixed. Most importantly, practice this technique as much as you can so you can perform it perfectly in patients who truly need it. Thank you so much.